So welcome back to some more Super Mario Galaxy. Last time, we've done it. All of the stars we can get before we have to go to the center of the universe is ours. Along with that, we explored a couple of random things that we had time to fit in, so, eh, I apologize for that, but I thought they were cool. This time, let's go get our lady. Sup, Rosalina. It's time. Do you want to go to the location of your special one at the center of the universe? Let's go. All right then, off we go. Another galaxy, Bowser's Galaxy Reactor, for the fate of the universe. I thought it was just the fate of Peach. This place is so cool, but also very damn treacherous. You get one of the best themes in the entirety of the game. I'm gonna shut up and let you guys listen. Like, it's just such a cool theme. I love it for this galaxy. So, yeah. Got some real treacherous areas, but this place has a lot of different things going on. You got this weird pla- uh, I thought I was going to be under that, but okay. Uh, there's a lot of lives uh, strewn about, a lot of star bits, a lot of fire here, but then once you take this up, you start seeing some blue fire and ice. I do love the contrasting things going on here. It's really, well, colorful. And again, the game gives you plenty of lies, uh, lives if you need it. Um, let's see if I can just, yep, there we go. And now we got sand. Like, again, there's a lot of different contrasting elements going on at the same time. It's kind of like merging all of the environments we've seen up to this point into one galaxy, which is really cool. I really like that. And you got the return of these uh, platforms that just come out of nowhere. Now, you do want to be quick in this little section because these platforms will start disappearing after a while. And yeah, this part kind of sucks. Uh, oh god, why are they disappearing right now? What the hell? Uh, that is not supposed to happen. This part kind of sucks because, uh, yeah, you have to time it but also race against those platforms. And now this section is real treacherous because you got some homing bullet bills that will chase your ass to the end of the earth. Or I guess the end of the universe in this case. Uh, please don't hit me. Uh, because if you get hit by a thwomp, that's a one-shot kill and there's nothing you can do against that. Just hop over here. And yeah, this is the only place in the entire game where there's bonsai bills. Because screw you. Uh, okay, yeah, I'd rather take the hit than fall off and die. So yeah, be really careful around here, but also be quick because, well, those homing bullet bills do not wait for anybody. Case in point. The main thing with these 
uh, bullet bills too is that they will pretty much just kind of wait around until you try to hop so you get hit by the lava. It is such a dick move. And I hate it. Anyway, we're done with that section. Onward, uh, onwards to the stairs to heaven, I guess. Stairway to heaven. Looking for Princess Peach? Too bad, because she's with me. You don't sound concerned for me. Well, let's make our way up. Bowser's kind enough to give us a deluxe room and a one-up. Uh, Peach just kind of <laughs> blipped into existence. Yeah, Bowser Jr. is going to be an asshole and try to shoot you with meteors. It's... Just keep moving up. It's not that big of a deal. Grab the one-up for one-up's sake. Let's go fight you. Finally. You got here just in time to see the creation of my galaxy in the center of the universe. Watch and weep. From this galaxy, I will rule a great galactic empire with Peach by my side. It will last forever. I will rule every pitiful corner of the universe. So Mario, as you can see, I got big plans, and stomping you is at the top of my list. Are you trying to be Darth Vader, dude? You're not exactly that threatening. You're a giant turtle. So, change the plans for this one. He actually changes it up for once. He's going to start up uh, with some lasers. And then... Hey, that's not supposed to be till Galaxy 2. Get out of here. You want to smack him where his face is? Uh, where are you going? Uh, you're supposed to be facing towards me. Boop. Do that once. In which he'll start doing lasers again. I think he do, uh, does four in a row. Nope, just three. And yeah, he just has this random rock attack. You don't see it anywhere else but here. In which he's been trying to do a weird spinny thing again. Hit him again. Phase one's done. Now to phase two. This one's really easy. Use the green things to smack him. This is actually easier than the other phase we just went through. Because he usually is right beside some one of these weird green plants. But yeah, that's all you gotta do. Just smack him with the green plants and he'll get spun. It's really weird. Booyah! There goes phase two. And phase three is a very climactic area with really good music. This is just like how we've been doing it. He's gonna start off with some lasers and then he's gonna start doing his own rolly thing with the shell, which apparently is double-sided. And then he'll start jumping, lead him over to the platform, and burn his ass. And I'm gonna shut up for a sec for this music because it is so good. Like, it's just a really climactic theme. I love it. Ow. Uh, I don't like getting hit. And yeah, there's pretty much no way to get your health back, so be careful. He's already gotten rid of our uh, options there. Light his ass on fire again. He'll start running around. Uh, where are you going, man? He always does a weird turn. Boop. There's one. There's two. And last one for the count. Well, we killed Bowser this time. I mean, killing him in the depths of the empty space seems pretty applicable. But there we go. Our final grand star. Let's go get in and get out of here.
Do you hear the baby stars? These newborns will grow up to become galaxies someday. When stars die, they turn to stardust and scatter across the cosmos. Eventually, that stardust reforms to create a new star, and so the cycle of life continues. But the cycle never repeats itself in quite the same way. So, you'll see. And there we go, Super Mario Galaxy. Such a weird and crazy ending. There's a lot of different interpretations of what that ending actually means. For many, including myself, I personally believe it's just a reshape of the entirety of the Mario world. They basically created a new galaxy in which everything got switched around. Like Rosalina said, Things repeat in the same cycle, but are never in the same way. It does repeat, but not in any of the similar ways that it used to be before. Things change and evolve. So, that's my interpretation. There's a lot of crazy theories out there too with Rosalina and all that, but I'll leave that to their own devices. But, that is not going to be the end of this LP. As I said before, there are 120 stars and we only have like 104 of them. So where are the other 16? We will see that in just a moment after we get through all the uh, credits, but I guess since we're at the credits already, I'll give my thoughts of this game. This game is a childhood favorite of many, and it is a childhood favorite of my, uh, my own as well. This game, while not my first Galaxy game, really showed me how much I love the Galaxy games, and how much I wish there was a third one they would make, because seriously, Super Mario Galaxy 3 would be so cool, especially if they made it in, like, the Odyssey engine or something, because it's just, there's so many things you could do with soaring through galaxies and such. Along with that, you see a lot of different faces you thought you would never see, like Luigi, you got the introduction of Rosalina, enemies that came back that were missing for the longest time, such as Mecha Koopas, and um, even Spinies, for that matter, in the 3D games, because Spinies... Or not Spinies, um, the, uh, Pokies, that's what I'm thinking of, uh, Spinies are in the next game, spoilers, but even still, along with that you get some new cool enemies and a lot of unique concepts that just either don't show up ever again or are lost in the next game, like Ice Mario. Ice Mario is only in this game, unfortunately. 
Now granted, there's different interpretations of Ice Mario, but the Ice Mario we have in Galaxy never shows up again. Same thing with the Red Star. Which, I've already said my piece about with the Red Star. I really wish that came back in later games, but... What Galaxy established is big open areas where you could just fly through the cosmos, and it's just fun. There's so many unique ideas throughout this game, and they're fun. And now, granted, there's galaxies I don't like, but that's the beauty of it. Not every galaxy you're gonna like, because they're not all the same. And that's why I don't give this game such a hard time about that. Uh, that is a lot of bombos. How the hell did you get that many? And even the boss battles, like Bouldergeist. Bouldergeist is one of my favorite Mario bosses ever. I love Bouldergeist. And the music. My god, the music. Even the music that's playing right now. All of it orchestrated, and it is... It's a masterpiece. There's a reason why a lot of people use Galaxy's music in a lot of their own videos, and... It, I mean, it's a really good music. But, I do love this game a lot, and I really love doing this LP. This LP has been such a blast, and you guys have been enjoying it too. Newer and older viewers, and I'm really happy about that, because, well, it just feels weird for me as a content creator to start getting an audience like this, and it's all thanks to you guys. But... Despite what this says right here, this is not the end. In fact, uh, you can probably look in the uh, timer. There's more to this video than meets the eye. Thank you so much for playing my game. So we're back at the title screen. It immediately pops you out here, immediately. And you can finally see the uh, file I actually used. Uh, yeah, you guys are Yoshi, apparently, because uh, the other file is my main file. I will get into the main file, but for right now, let's go to Yoshi. Hey, Rosa. Welcome back. I knew you would return eventually. Please look down at your feet. Uh, why this again? I thought we saved Peach. This number you see represents the number of power stars you need to access another world. Whether you succeed or fail, just attempting the challenge will show something about your character. So yeah. Also, I don't think we kept our lives, so I'm gonna go grab our lives from Toad. So we are plopped back out here, and there are more things to do. There are purple comets. Purple comets we have not seen before, and they are the last comet type we'll ever see. Let's go check one out. So, head into here. So, remember the purple coins we collected when we first got the red star? That's what these purple comets are. They are 100 coin challenges, basically. Now, thankfully, these are not in every single galaxy. It's only just in the galaxies that we have not completed, which are 15. Let's get our purple coin omelet. So these are pretty much just celebratory stages where you get to go back to areas you haven't been to in a very long time and just get to see the sights again. It's been a very long time since we came back to Good Egg Galaxy and I'm happy to be here. So yeah, we just go around the galaxies and collect purple coins. Now, this is probably the most boring part of the entire game when you're 100%ing it. And I will admit it is kind of boring. Um, I, what I do suggest here is... Um, your first go around through these planets, I would uh, just say to skip all the launch stars for this uh, first part. Because there are purple coins out in the cosmos here that you need the launch star for. Uh, those, okay, thank god, those are just star bits. I, I thought those were purple coins, and that is a really tricky spot for them. Good at, uh, Good at Galaxy is a really easy first one to go after, because all the purple coins are kind of just laid out in front of you. In later galaxies, they're going to be scattered across different areas, actually in... Um, not gold leaf, what is it called? Honey Hive. In Honey Hive, there's one, and all the purple coins are just scattered about in the first planet. So, that's what I mean. Uh, let's take this. But yeah, Good Egg's really not that bad. Good Egg's very easy. Now, you're probably wondering how I'm gonna be handling the purple coin missions. There are some which they take forever. 
One of them is in Honey Hive, uh, and the other one is in freaking uh, uh, Seaslide. Seaslide is easily the worst one. Uh, I think I needed to take that. I should have taken that. Whoops. But yeah, that's what happens when I'm trying to explain things. If they take like a ridiculous amount of uh, time to go and do, I will just either speed up the video or just talk over it or whatever because there's really not anything to explain with these. It's just going around the planets and grabbing all of the purple coins. Now some of them, such as Dusty Dune Galaxy, will actually put a time limit on it, but Besides that, there's really nothing to explain. You're just going around the areas and picking up purple coins. And, I mean, this is required for the 100%, so we do need to do this. Uh, where is the last 10? In which case, I'm being very dumb. Uh, let's take this launch star. I don't think there's a launch star I've taken yet. Uh, this goes up here. Okay, I have not taken this one. Perfect. And our final 10, right up here. Pretty easy. So yeah, the purple comets only come up if you taken down Bowser at the center of the universe. These will unlock once that happens. So that is why I was not too concerned about the star count. Where is the star? Is it? Uh, it's it's further up ahead. I don't know where the star is. Uh, I am dumb. I think. Oh, there it is. Okay. So skip this launch star and just go straight for the thing. Easy does it. I just want to take care of this one to explain the purple coins, but also, it was a really quick one. Back to the star counters! So yeah. Now, I will say one annoying thing with the purple coin missions. They are kind of random at where they're gonna be. For example, if it works out right... I'm not going into another one, but... Uh, yep. That's the beauty of these, uh, purple coin comets. They appear randomly throughout the areas that you have not gotten all of the coins at. So, right now, there's one in everywhere else except for the terrace. So, we'll just keep going after the purple coins for the remainder of the LP and, uh, yeah, eventually get our 120 stars. But, that is everything I'm gonna cover today. So, next time on Super Mario Galaxy... We'll be celebrating our victory against Bowser by collecting more stars. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.